Today, we are recreating rom-com posters. Rom-coms for me when I was growing up very much were the same type of woman. I never really got to see my culture being represented in the way that it should be authentically. Being a plus size woman, being a woman of color, being a queer woman, like you ain't finding me nowhere. I'm a damn unicorn. Definitely the best friend who was like black and like kind of the comedic relief. I feel like that's like as diverse as it got. Oh, that girl's hair is curly. She must be crazy. It's very frustrating to always see yourself as like a supporting character because then you grow up believing that you're not the lead in your own movie. I'm hoping that I can recreate this pose and it doesn't look like someone made a mistake. Today, I am recreating the Pretty Woman poster. I am feeling like the classiest hooker there ever was in all of Beverly Hills. This is like Julia Roberts when like, she was America's sweetheart. I am like my couch's sweetheart. A very iconic smile to try to replicate. I love the Pretty Woman poster. Julia Roberts, her hair is in its natural curl. It's a darker color and it shows a lot of her personality and she is smiling like that iconic Julia Roberts smile. Smile. She just seems so happy. Today I will be posing with Jacob, who I have never met. It's always great to first meet someone when you're supposed to play their love interest. I will be recreating the No Strings Attached poster. We don't have to be the best friend watching someone else fall in love. Like, I can have No Strings Attached. <laughs> Today I'm modeling with Courtney, and this is going to be interesting. So I've always wanted a big oversized shirt and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so cute in someone else's shirt. This is a lot of ass to capture. I hope that this shows that no matter what size you are, whether you are super small or not, or in between, that like you can be sexy and you can wear your little shirt around, whether it's yours or not, and everyone's gonna look good no matter what. I am going to be doing Kate Hudson in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I've looked at this poster and it's just kind of like two people playing Jenga with each other. In the pose, like she's like this, but like I can't get. <laughs> <laughs> so instead it's gonna be like, no boys allowed or whatever this pose is. How do they find themselves in a situation where like they both tipped over at the same time? But Macy has figured out that there's no way you can do this pose without it being Photoshopped together. So we're now filming it separately and I'm being held up. Bigger people have romantic adventures too. I think it'd be really cool to see our romantic adventures. I'll be recreating The Notebook with the always beautiful Rachel McAdams and I hope I can do it some justice. Today I'm actually posing with my boyfriend Russell and I think this will be a fun experience for the two of us and hopefully he doesn't drop me. <laughs> He's giving you that it just heavily rained look. <laughs> Rom-coms for me when I was growing up, I never really saw a leading lady who was curvy and considered sexy and romantic. You that... look fantastic. Thank you. You look beautiful. I'm really excited to show that as a curvy woman, you can also be a leading lady. I'm doing J-Lo from The Wedding Planner. Growing up as a Latina, seeing J-Lo in movies was amazing. Jenny from the Black, Maya from the Black. I never really got to see kind of my culture being represented. I don't know, like I wish La La Land had like POC. It's like, why can't a Latina be in it? Or like an African American or an Indian or something like that. I'm excited to represent an average size woman, which is like in America, I think it's size 14 to 16. She's kind of like, like this. <laughs> I have too much boobage for that. I mean, I got a little butt, thighs, arms. I'm excited to show that in a movie poster because it's usually Photoshopped out. I just hope this shows girls everywhere that you are allowed to be the lead in your own love story. You're not just the best friend. You're not just the comedic relief. You are the star of your life.
Thank you.